expectorating. Yes, we will not be doing any expectorating today. Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel. I don't know what's going on today, but I'm buzzing, girls. I completely forgot about bees. And welcome back to another episode of Asbertine to Beauty Queen. Why aren't you making it to the planet? A show in which a plastic lady from America visits Manchester, UK, and recruits some rather, um, how did the media describe this? Delinquent teenagers to compete in a beauty pageant to try and, well, to try and what? We don't know. Fill in the blank, girls. What a season this is being so far. We are speeding through. It is, in fact, today, my lovelies, episode four of six. It's a tiny series, really. Tiny. I still have absolutely no idea how to market these videos on YouTube because the word Asbo doesn't do well, the word entitled does pretty well, but honestly, how much of these teens are actually entitled and how much of it would be clickbait? <laughs> we have, however, seen some pretty tough situations, should we say, throughout these episodes so far. In the last episode, we saw Pavia, um, evicted? No, what's the- Cast out from the pageant. Eliminated is the word I'm looking for. There we go. And she did, in fact, have a- a moment of rejection, should we say, of this decision. She decided to share a piece of her mind with the rest of the contestants and also the judges. And it was kind of difficult to watch, not gonna lie. Multiple different factors uh, around that situation. Lots of bullying, which we do not approve of here on the Chanel. I do also want to say, actually, in the last episode, we saw Ashley, I believe it was, also engage in the bullying, even though the plastic doll lady from America, Michelle Pryat, was like, you did really well this week, Ashley you didn't partake in the bullying of Ellen when actually she did. And everyone pointed this out in the comments because I agree. There was even a fabulous comment that had actually timestamped every time Ashley was not nice to Ellen. So there. Talking about the last episode, my lovelies, are you ready for a top comment? Because I think I am. And one of the top comments from the last episode of As Bertine to Beauty Queen is by this really small YouTuber. They're quite up and coming. I don't think you've heard of them, but I used to watch them before they were cool. They used to make lots of gay people pizza content. Can you see what it says? Ah. Honestly, all of my friends would stay up every sleepover watching horror movies and try to freak each other out. The idea that that would make one of us turn on the other is unhinged. Yeah. They then go on further to say that the role of messenger RNA in the transcription of D- No, they don't. <laughs> Stop being so silly. You're right, Roly. You are right. You know, we used to share some rather spooky stories in my youth as well with each other at like the beach parties and stuff like that in Brighton. And the idea that one of us would then just be like, you're actually insane and I'm going to throw around this particularly loaded diagnostic illness at you as an insult because I'm actually frightened for you and we're going to ostracize you from the group. No. We had bullying, sure, but it wasn't quite like that. Well, my loves, are you ready to strap in and strap on with me today to watch another episode of Us Boage Teen to Beauty Queen? Grab yourself a beverage. Today I have got a skull full of caffeinated beverage. Grab your little oh hanger and pop it right into your pageant hole. <laughs> and let's watch Us to Beauty Queen. Why aren't you making it to the pageant? Imagine being like, oh, these underprivileged teenagers that perhaps have like difficult backgrounds that have made them act out in really like negative ways. What they need is a beauty pageant. Yeah, that'll teach them discipline and how the world works. Oh, here we go, girls. Rachel, she's on the go. Laura, she's also on the go. Pavia went last week, girls. Oh my god, it's pageant. Ellen should be a model. Nasha already went and that was, uh, the volume's getting even louder, girls. Ashley, uh, a snake in the grass, girl. Gary! Why is the volume so loud? Be quiet. Sarah also went. Elena, girls. She got a stern telling off as well, didn't she? Tear away team to Beauty Queen. Or is it Asmo team? Nobody knows because it has two names apparently. Oh, here we go. Every year in America, thousands of young women compete to win time. Imagine getting the chavs at like your local problematic high school to do all of this. Your fave could never. Every year in America, thousands of- It's kind of funny because the culture is so so different between America and the UK. American like cheerleady beauty culture is very like, go on team, we're going to win. We've got Gart and she's on the game. In the UK, it's like, we can see you holding hands. We can see you holding hands, die. Beautiful. Young women compete to win titles oh, in the there lucrative she is skipping beauty towards business. an early grave. Winners take home big cash prizes cash and prizes can become national pounds. celebrities. 
The most coveted crown is that of the Miss Teen International pageant held in Chicago, Illinois. Chicago-ish? Quite a far cry, isn't it, from Chicago? Oh, security. The first ever English competitor will be plucked from Manchester. Plucked, like Asbo a chicken. capital of England. Right. The Asbo capital. Until three weeks ago, there she is, these modeling. girls didn't know a pageant from a pony club. A pageant? Do you know one of my last episodes tried to get demonetised because they were like, you're promoting drug use. I was like, where? Where am I promoting drug use? And they were like, sorry, actually, we made a mistake. <laughs> girls didn't know a pageant from a pony club. I don't pony know club. what a beauty pageant is. <laughs> Not too sure really what it is. Oh, oh really? Hoops. No, nothing about Look at those it. hoops. Yeah, have one of them. Look at those hoops. Banners, whatever they're called. A sachet. The task of turning Short. one of these tracksuited teens into a beauty queen falls to a former Mrs. International. Mrs. 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 International. Mrs. Yeah. International? Do you have to be a married lady for this title? Mr. and Mrs. Massive International Lady. Your fave could never. Everybody I have can. a great deal at stake here. Do you? I recognize the responsibility and how my decision- This decis woman looks completely deranged, doesn't she? If you said, what does this woman do? I would be like, Chucky's bride impersonator, beauty pageant winner. Responsibility and how my decision will impact each of these girls' lives. Right. And I also carry the weight of being a, a blonde on woman. my shoulders. No, I am bad enough. And for the last three oh, yes. weeks, it's been a heavy burden. Three weeks is that all it's been? Michelle's been let down, shouted at, ridiculed, and abused. You cheeky just because you've got all that makeup on. Rick T. This week, the six remaining trainees Ooh. face their toughest test yet. Is this a full blown pageant right here in Manchester? Ah! Oh, hey, girl. Wait, where are wait, they? They stayed in London for like a week, didn't they? Are they back in Manchester now? Okay, right. Back in the Hacienda. Yeah, hey, well, but with only morning. three finalists Just going forward to next week, the girls must be at the, the top of their game. This week's challenge is to perform <gasps> like a beauty queen. Oh. At the end of the week, we are going to hold a pageant, a full blown pageant to decide who's we? The three Miss Teen England. Finalists. Oh! Oh, this is a really important episode. Be in an auditorium, on a stage, and a huge audience. Huge audience of eight people. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be so nerve wracking. I'm not sure I this like This week's you know, challenge is oh, gonna yeah, be one of the hardest we've done. I'll probably fate on stage, actually. So now I'm going yeah, to show actually, you. Yeah, actually, if you've not got a lot of experience in like public speaking, suddenly being thrust into a public speaking atmosphere where everyone is looking at you is a little bit like. I might pass away now, actually. Her spirit is returned from beyond the grave. A clip of what you will need to achieve at the end of the week. Everyone gets their own boat neck sweater. Look at the television. Imagine in this day and age, on a reality TV competition show, being like, and now the host will squat next to a living room TV. Big Brother could never. <laughs> Evening gown and it's also 20% of the score. Is that that? No. This is the on stage interview question, tells. just like we did a couple of weeks ago, where you'll be given one question. Oh! And I thought she was a floating head. We'll have 30 seconds to answer it. Right, and don't say. Some people out there in our nation don't have maps. Allowed a kiss from other good night for the very first time. Thank you. She's she, 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 pageants that's the whole reason why she's been involved in this process from start to finish because i don't know her out of this show at all i've never heard of this woman before i love absolutely love the fact that there she said we're going to help you choose what works for you love that throughout all of these makeover shows that we watched things like 10 years younger and what not to wear and any of the other ones not once is like favorite color what you like ever taken into account it's always like no do as i say i love the fact that she said we're going to choose something that works for everyone i think it's unfair about wearing the sports wearing everything else like if i wore a dress it covers you, but ah. it's showing all your 
stomach and everything else. So okay, we've got some body image like issues. That. Okay. Okay, so what are your thoughts? I think, it's, I think you would actually find it very difficult to find a single teenager who has access to any sort of like media and entertainment that doesn't have a body image issue at some sort. Because being a teenager is actually really difficult. Just from actually inside your body, like all your hormones are doing all sorts of things, oh, loads of things, loads of processes that are happening in your body as a teenager. Michelle doesn't seem vindictive, which I will give her, you know, compared to like loads of the other hosts that we see, that she doesn't seem vindictive, she doesn't seem punishing, she's just very pageant. Back on watching that. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I will be shitting bricks. I know that it's bricks. overwhelming for them to sit and think of being on stage in front of hundreds of people and yes. going through all these phases of competition, but yes. This is such a necessary task. Necessito? I need to see, quite frankly, who can do leche. it and who can't. Part of what's going to go into my decision about who I ultimately choose to represent England at Miss Teen International, Angleterre. it's going to be about who I can trust. Right, OK. And that means who I can trust to not challenge God, authority. Beat. What does that mean? <gasps> Question everything you're told. I actually just thought. How are they going to get them into America if they've already been arrested? Like, surely the Esther's, mind you, maybe the Esther wasn't a thing at this point. Esther from being arrested would be like, no, you've been arrested on drug charges. You are no say. Is that allowed? A little bit of treason. What is this? Uh, Listen, we've done <laughs> A person that's in a position of authority. Yes. That means it needs to be someone I could trust to play by the rules. Someone I can trust to not quit. How is production going to take them to America if they to have not like criminal give records? In to peer pressure. Someone I can trust to refuse to be a victim. Someone I can trust to not. No. Okay. Immediately turn that back. Refuses. To someone who I can trust who refuses to be a victim. That's victim blaming. No. Don't let Michelle. Michelle. Not be ruled by her own self doubt. Right. Okay, girls. You guys ready to go for the training? For the first part of getting ready to be in the pageant? Yes. No. I know you are. All right, pageant. Come on, let's go. Come on. Right. So I'm going to sway my hair over this, this way. Is to perform like beauty queens in their first ever pageant. Right. But this Michelle can choose only three no. girls to take back with her girls. to America. America. The losers will be left behind. Left behind. I really need the girls Exploitation. to show me enthusiasm determination. Would you ever see that in this day and age? Just be like, oh, we've just got a kettle behind you. Yeah, and some used like things just plugged into the wall. Yeah, just make it look really homely, yeah. Show me enthusiasm, determination, and dedication. And a big wig. And I need that to happen immediately, if not sooner. In Manchester, oh six beauty queen wannabes have just- I must say, if I was walking down the street and I saw a group of teenagers like this, I would cross over the road and I would probably still have attention drawn to me. Anyone here who is slightly different in the audience for multiple different reasons, whether that's through sexuality, through gender expression, through even just, you like a little bit of weird things in life. Like you just, I don't know, you like to wear pink. Like you do get picked on by teenagers, feral teenagers. <laughs> it's not fun, don't like it. We have a real problem in the UK of like teenagers, being left behind by the system due to multiple different facets that they are left to loiter and turn to violence very easily. It's frightening. In Manchester, I don't know six how to beauty fix it. queen wannabes have just three better. days before they'll take part in their first ever me. beauty pageant people, in front of a packed theatre. Yeah, Mentor Michelle Fryatt has been struggling to train them. Struggle bus. One day these girls can really encourage me and then the next time I see them, they'll let me down. Yes, that is the nature I of being so a human. I so much want one of them to make this more important than staying out all night partying. And I, and so far I'm not quite sure if any of them has done that. So I'm a little bit discouraged right now. Okay. Michelle's Jesus protégé will eventually here. have to hold her own against these girls in the US contest. So mastering a choreo- Honestly, I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen at this pageant because how can you legitimately take people that have had like their entire lives revolving around pageantry and like cheer and choreography? It's just incompatible, surely. Even the judges might be a bit like, no, oh, we're really bitter. You can't come in and disrupt our favourite. Routine is a key part of this week's challenge. Oh, look at the fashion. Hey, girls. 
Everybody ready? Oh, a side pony. Well, Rachel's been up all night. Oh, shit. Oh, what's she been We're doing? celebrating that I actually got through halfway to the competition. So I went out. I'm the most tired out of all of these girls here yeah, because I party more than these, yeah. So when I party, I don't come in at two o'clock. I want to crack on with my princesses till uh, seven in the morning, eight in the morning. And I got here today, yeah, at about half nine. I've not had no sleep. Are you pumped? She says that like it's a badge of honor. And that is a bit telling of like British youth culture in the, I can stay out and party all night, but I can still make it to work tomorrow morning. After 18, 19, 20, 21, those skills, skills start to diminish immediately. And then once you hit over 30, good luck trying to think about any of that. Have a single glass of passion fruit martini and be struggling for a week. Her spirit is returned from beyond the grave. Mind you, I don't know what you could have told me when I was 18 years old. I would probably be around the same age as Rachel. I would have been like, no, don't you dare. Of course I can do all this. Yes. Ready? Are you gonna cooperate? Yes. yes. Not. Michelle has brought in Bruno Tonioli to teach the girls the routine. As the choreographer at two Miss World pageants, he knows the standard they need to night. achieve. Okay, girls, listen, there's no time to mucking about here because... No time to mucking about. Obviously you're Stop playing silly dancers, buggers. So don't worry, I'm not going to make you do pirouettes across the floor. <laughs> what we have do. to try to do is <laughs> be funky, have a great time, impress the people who are going to come and see you, and really f*** <laughs> off good. <laughs> Oh. Are you cool with that? Yeah. No. Yeah. So, two, They're all like, three, he's the four, one. Five, six, seven. First two. Down, down, one, two, down. three. Four, right, off we go, girls. Six, seven, eight. Flap in the middle oh, and do five, the hokey cokey and you've got the gout. Professional That's what it's all about. At least a day to learn a two and a half minute routine before you clean it. And we have two hours oh. with non-professional dancers, oh. maybe in a mood, grumpy. Use girl Grumble always bums. grumpy. Grumble so bums. It would be a surprise for me as it is for you. Yeah, Pause. I wouldn't like to try and learn choreography whilst Pause. having been at a party this and then having to sleep. This exercise is important for a couple what drag of race reasons. Scenario is it's that? important to see how they work together as a group. It's important to see is which it? one of them really can follow instructions. Oh. Make your predictions now. Who's going to make it through to the pageant? I think Ellen might. Maybe just from personal preference. I think Ashley might because um, she, she, I think she's the only blonde left, isn't she? And I know that Michelle has like a thing for blondes. And Laura, I think those three. Maybe Rachel. We do seem to be focusing a lot on Rachel, but I think they might be like, no, nah, she's just not got what it takes to make it in this fast paced industry. And it's important to see who has stage presence, who has charisma. Uniqueness and who really and makes an effort. She's getting but Rachel's she? late night is beginning to catch up with her. Well, there you go. Come on, Rachel. you got to listen to me. Oh. This should be fun for them. They should really enjoy this. Should so, they? you know, I'm just to the do. point that if one of them starts to whinge, I'm just going to go, right, go sit in the corner until you and can come back out, apologize, done. and get back with the group, because I've just almost had it with the whinging. I know you're well, tired. welcome to British culture, whinging about everything. Even when it's great, we whinge. Loafing through this. All right. OK, well, I'm glad I know you feel that way. Her Munro was like, absolutely not. Uh, Wait. Come on, same Forgive as before. Give me a need to send that. Five, six, seven, Leisure eight. Leisure send that. Biff. She chose to go out last night and basically party with her friends all night. That's why she's in bad shape today. Head off the line, <laughs> girls. Oh, she's not having it. She's leaving. Oh, bye. I hate you. I'm leaving. <laughs> Yeah. Right, she's gonna go put her in a pageant, tell her off. There's no point following me because I'm going home, right? I'm just really tired of trying to want this for them. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity, it's something for them to experience, and all they do is complain. I don't think you can force people to want to do things though, but like, what is the point of this again? Like, do, they don't win any money. They don't win an opportunity at doing anything better for them. They literally, the opportunity to do more labor. Is that right? Like they're gonna go to America and then work. 
Do they have to have special visas for that? I'm sure they do, don't they, Nilsie? Like, you get going on like this is this is my last chance in life. This is just an experience so I that I'm not on the street. Stephen! Get out! Watch what you're doing! There's a car coming! Quickly, Erin! There's a car coming now! I simply cannot. My ADHD is really running wild today, my lovelies. I am so sorry. I've been so distracted all day. So you just get, you get what you get. We can't all be 10 out of 10 every day, can we? You get what you get, my loves. I simply cannot I simply. afford to take someone to Chicago that I can't trust. Right, well then, that means she's going. If this matters to her at all, she's got to really show me something Look in the next ring. few days. Hello. 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 Okay, girls. I, know you I came to check your progress. Hopefully, you've made some anything. since this morning, right? Bruno, Bruno, have you taught them nothing? Let him press Michelle. Let's move it. Okay. All right. I was Bruno. I'm ready, I'm ready to be dazzled, girls. Be dazzled. Be dazzled. Be dazzled me. Oh, God, you're expecting a lot. Be dazzled. Oh, lesbian socks on the game. Step and clap and clap and step and walk and wig and shuffle and wig. Snatch the crown. Snatch the crown. Oh, it quite fit, didn't it? Yay. Yeah, oh, screaming. Immediate screaming. Okay, Bruno, they didn't tell me you were a miracle worker. <laughs> Compared to the bunch of sullen, resistant girls I saw when I left sullen, earlier. Sullen, resistant well, girls. girls. Have you what read my we CV? They're nice girls coming from a world totally different than what I, well, I do. Guess European Michelle though, does. That he's really talking about jumping in the deep end and considering not the deep end. You know, from what you know, we entered this room. Oh my God, what is this? Mm. They actually know we, we've got something out of it, so you know, credit to them. Oh, is but with only five of is the girls Italian managing to finish the lesson, Michelle needs to take action to avoid more trouble. <laughs> come here, my little beauty queens. I want oh. you to come here for a second. Right. Huddle up. He's we've only got, sure. listen, we've only got four more days. So I want you guys what, to. Is that it? Four me. days? Goodness. Dear Michelle. Michelle, Michelle. Hand, on your, hand on your stomach. I solemnly promise. I solemnly promise that to I sell will my not girl stay cookies. out all night girl Scout drinking cookies. with my mates. I will not stay out drinking with my mates. Okay. At least until the pageant is over. At least until the pageant is over. And Ashley's like, no, I want to go drinking. Promise. I'm drinking right now. <laughs> okay. Drunk. I'm only crying because of what I've got home, yeah. Outside, Rachel's swearing too, but not pledges. Get me, I'm not arsed, yeah. I'm a soldier. I'm rubbish and I'm a cold bitch. Everybody knows that. Marsden Street. She's a cold bitch. Okay. I am quite sick. I'm an emotional girl, yeah. I'm not arsed, yeah. <laughs> them. <laughs> everything, yeah. Rass. I'd rather go home and sleep in my bed than <laughs> do some stupid dance like that with some <laughs> head, yeah. And I can't even dance like it. So why am I doing it for if I can't do it? Whilst Rachel questions her future, a lot of the rest of the girls have questions. A lot of emotion for the local community centre. Oh, my eye is bleeding. Right, so this is the official applicazione for Meistein Internationale R, a Mrs. International production. I hereby apply as an entrance for the title of Miss Teen Wig. Why don't you try on that lovely wig? It's official application for Miss Teen International. Oh. The answers the girls put down now will be read out on stage at the oh. pageant, a vital pageant. way to impress the judges, as the American girls know all too well. Ah, oh. don't put anything silly. You know, Joanne, I really like this area of competition because you get to see a glimpse of the whole person in a unique way. Kia's favorite family tradition going to Peru to deliver clothes to orphanages. And her favorite family tradition is. I'm sorry. My favorite family tradition is going to Peru to deliver clothes to orphanages. Your fave could never. Tradition. How frequently do you do this for it to be considered a tradition? How long does a tradition have to be going on in order for it to be considered a tradition and not just 
I happen to do this. A sensible 74. Oh, it's bizarre, isn't it? It's bizarro land. Making Christmas cookies with her mom, especially sugar cookies, because they get to decorate them. Whitney's favorite family tradition is attending church and having dinner together on Sundays as a family. Favorite I mean, that's tradition. probably the closest to a tradition. Uh, yeah. Favorite family tradition. Crazy. <laughs> Three words that describe you. Bitch. <laughs> scholar. Who's a scholar? Mm. How, am, how am I a scholar? Favorite saying? Ma. Get me. Your favorite saying? I know it, but I can't say it. In it. <laughs> In it. Shut up, I'm from Manchester, that's what we all say. My hobbies are chilling with my mates and listening to music and dancing. Chilling. Oh no. That's not a hobby, actually. Chilling. These girls don't have any hobbies. They haven't done volunteer work in their community and... Why'd you think that might be, Michelle? When all of your brain power is simply reserved for surviving, you don't get the luxury of hobbies or volunteering. It really makes me much more sympathetic. Okay. About where they're coming from. Okay. And the kind of lives I spoke that they lead. Quite soon. Yes. And it, and it makes me a bit sad, really. Yes. And I what don't can even you do about understand. that? If she disqualifies me for that, I'm going to spit in her face. What? I don't even understand. If she disqualifies me for that, I'm going to spit in her face. Oh dear. Maybe, maybe don't... Um, what's the word? What's the, what's the scientific word for spitting? Let me Google it. Expectorating! Yes, we will not be doing any expectorating today. This morning, the girls are to be fitted for their dance outfits. Oh, fit to dance! Wear. Despite threatening to quit yesterday, Rachel turns up on time. Oh, she's back! And this, this time... This is a god honest truth now, yeah. Every single thing, yeah, that has been good coming through to my life, yeah, every good opportunity, yeah, I've always ended up f***ing it off. Sorry for swearing. Oh. I've always ended up, like, giving up and can't be bothered. OK. Because I don't know, it's just the way I am. So we're having I'm a little a bit of self-reflection. A quitter. It's very Basically. important to self-reflect. But now this is a chance to see if I am a quitter. Good morning. Well, hey, oh. stranger. Hello, shopkeep. Here. Let's have a chat. She's everywhere. Isn't okay. She? Oh, it's really frustrating go. for me to watch you make some of the choices that you're making because I see so much potential in you. So what you have to show me in the next couple of days is going to be really key for me. Buckle up and just, I know, I know, I know. I'm just gonna have to be focused now. She's got her Sony Walkman in her pocket. See what happens. Right. See what you got for me. Mm. Okay. Rachel may be promising a fresh start, but then yesterday the other girls promised oh. to stay off their booze. Oh. And this morning, some of them are anything but fresh. Are they all drunk? I, had, I don't know how many vodkas and coke and everything else. No say. Even them started drinking Jack Daniels, which wasn't good. Here they are. Even <laughs> At least Laura is hangover free, but only oh. because she hasn't sobered up yet. Um, I'm oh, I see. My head is up my ass. <laughs> my Dear. head is like very skilled on an adult <laughs> website. Yeah, it is, yo. <laughs> wow, I am. Um, I can't even see shit. Laura <laughs> has really like Lady Sov energy, like Lady Sovereign. What's the, her famous song? Bow down, bow down, ching. Your fave could never. I don't know, very strong, kind of butch femme energy. I was posing my tits off and I'm wheezing, I'm flapping off myself. Yeah. Okay, girls, good, good morning. 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 I trust everybody's Welcome rested. To the charity shop. Sober? Yeah. No. Right? And nobody partied last night? Michelle. Right. Stop asking questions you don't want to know the answer Well, the to. reason we're here at a dance shop is to pick out something for you guys to wear in the opening number. Right. All right? So in the it opening number, this. how many numbers are there? Are you joking? I'm totally serious. This is the look it needs to be. Okay, well, earlier I said, Oh great, she's decided that we're going to do something for like the good of everyone. Mm, I'm going to retract that statement because she's literally said, Wear this, but find your own. Okay. <laughs> Come dazzle me. Yay! You look oh dear. amazing. Yes, you. Very chicken fillet here and a chicken. There was something about like the 2000s, the way that you would dress that would just make your torso look really long. 
I don't know why. Bees. Now we're all about like really long legs and like very proportionate waist. Back in the day it was like, how long can you make your torso and how tiny can you make your legs? Daytime tweed with an evening chiffon. Ah! You can feel it there. <laughs> Who knew there were such great bodies underneath all those clothes? Great, two fitted. I feel, I feel better when I've got some chicken fillets. I've got some boobs. Oh. Harry, it's your turn. Those conscious on my way. Life for it isn't easy on anyone, so it's a test of character, right? Life for it isn't easy I'm on anyone, so let's inflict this on you. When I'm big and everything else, just making a pro out myself. I think that the outfit's quite nice. I've got no problem with it because I've got a slim figure and a tall figure, so it's not a problem with me. Have you been watching what you eat a little bit? Yeah, I've been No just... chippies and butter sandwiches? I'm not gonna push you, because I'm gonna let you make your own choices, but choices have consequences, I right? Yeah, I don't like... Excuse me, madam, you are not a nutritionist, you are not a doctor, you are not a professional healthcare person, or a mental health nurse, or any of that, and you're going... No, you are a be an ex-beauty pageant winner. Because I'm gonna let you make your own choices, but choices have consequences, Stay right? Because we won't be able to put you in the number if you don't wear the outfit that is selected. That's it's terrible. That is absolutely terrible. There is always room to make accommodations. Always room. Over nothing. It's a piece of clothing. You're gonna be in it for about 10 minutes. It's easy for the skinny girls to say. I don't care. Cause I know I still will look good. There you go. It's gonna be a shame. I would love to go on to America. Mm. But I've enjoyed every minute of it. I've made it halfway. But if it means not being in the competition, cause of something I won't wear, then tough. Okay. With Michelle at risk of ending up one beauty queen short of a pageant, she proposes a compromise. How would you guys feel if one of you was in a little bit different top? Because I think that Carrie's not comfortable with this, with this selection, and I want to totally don't expose that. her. Michelle, what if Carrie's partner dressed the same as Carrie? Then there's like two kinds that we could wear. Three girls could wear them, and three could wear the shop. I don't you, I, you don't feel comfortable showing the belly in it. Carrie, does that solution work for you, do you think? Yeah. 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 Okay, a little bit there, if you've noticed, a sense of community and the girls coming together to try and include someone who is having trouble. That is actually probably one of the nicest little things that we've seen so far. Rachel has had some problematic uh, behavior in previous episodes with bullying and the such like. You know what I think? That I'm really proud of you guys for being supportive. So I yes. think that shows like I'm tentative character. though, because I've said, are they, are, they, are they being lovely? And then a second later, everyone is being awful again. Okay, we'll see how it goes. I'm confident. I did make a concession for this week because I would hate to see Carrie not be able to participate because she didn't feel confident in the clothing selection. However, I'd be dishonest if I said that, that, that her lack of comfort with wearing something similar to that won't factor into my decision. Come here. Oh, let's, let's so see. you're a body shamer. Was into a my decision, time, I guess. Come here, let's, let's see. Okay. It looks disgusting. I think it looks fine. Mm, there can be something, surely something a bit nicer than that. Perfect. You're good to go. Okay. You look great, Rachel. And very enthusiastic as well. I'm like... Can't you just give them something cool. high-waisted? Yeah, yeah. Why is cool. everything so low I think it looks great. So do you think you'll be okay with that? I feel a lot more comfortable in it than what I did or what I would have if I wore the red one. Okay. That's I'm all that matters. To, um, I've gone through with it, like, even though if it is a longer top. And I'm glad I got all the support off the girls as well. That, che that cheered me up. This week is entirely up in the air. 
in my mind. Why? I need to see I need to see it all come together for these girls. And just when I think I really have my mind set on one as definitely being one I would take to America, <laughs> like Rachel, for example, she does something to throw a big shadow of doubt in my mind. Well, welcome to I being a woman in England. Laura through yesterday, especially, and, and now she's shown up, from what I'm hearing, having drunk all night long, but she still performed. So I, I have no idea how this week's going to play out. Mm, but if you did show up to work in drunk, just two people weeks will be like, time, no. the prestigious Miss Teen International Beauty Pageant in America will be joined by its first ever entrant from England. Right. She'll be selected. If it's international, why aren't there already Nigerian English contestants? Who tomorrow will or is be it a little bit like the World Series in American football, where it's just the rest of the USA? <laughs> the top three girls will be heading stateside. Right. The losers will remain in Moss side. Right. Did you have I to say quite like who the three are going to be? I told you that like pageant. Pageant. And part of my ultimate decision will truly be who I can trust to not let me down right. and to be really committed right, she's to really saying that this week representing she? she's like, trust with pride. I need to trust my own wig. They've learnt the dance Dad and been jump. fitted for their outfits. Awful outfit. But the girl's biggest hurdle is the on-stage platform question. 40% of their mark rests on their ability to promote a charitable cause, right. something they've been researching for the last two weeks. Yes, we did see well, them the give us really slight talk, didn't we? The girls are really struggling with the concept of the platform. I think they've internalised the thought mm. of they have a platform and they have a cause and they're gathering all the information on it, but it's going to do us absolutely no good if you ask a girl a question on our platform and she just freezes. Yeah. All right, who wants to go first? Da 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 Because I believe more people. I'm nervous about all of Wednesday, but that's the thing that I'm most nervous about, the platform. And... And... I think I'm going to be a natural talker and I think it's just finding the right words to say. I think I would start small with Wood Street Mission. Um, well, I think it's important for it's true. Blah, 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 blah. I've been all right up to now with speaking on pub, you know, on front of people. But this is going to be different. This is going to be people from Manchester, isn't it? I'm reading off the sheet. Got a lot of work to do between yeah. now and the pageant, right? Yeah. Okay. I can never do my stage talk. I don't know if everyone's looking at me and I just don't know what to say. My mind goes blank. So, find a partner, practice... A lot of this big front that they have, some of these girls, is because they're kind of vulnerable, actually. It's very vulnerable to be in the situation that they're in, having come from difficult backgrounds, to them being forced into something like this. Of course it's going to bring out all these different emotions, resistances, self-doubt. It's going to be really interesting to see how they develop for this role and how much of it will be like production stepping in and being like, oh, they all did great, even if they perhaps didn't. Back and forth, make your points, focus, because we're not setting you up to fail, we're setting in an you up to succeed. Imagine. All right, Imagine you live there and we're like, what's he doing? You get out. Get, get away from my house. The girls have less than 24 Gators. hours to polish up all the skills they've right. learned over the last four weeks. Right. Okay. In tomorrow's pageant, they'll need to get their oh, the platform pageant speech girls. word perfect. Um, my pageant. is anger management. Uh, my, ugh. Physically, their bodies will need to be toned and in peak condition for the aerobic wear section. Oh, do we need to oh, expose? And they'll try anything to gain them an advantage. Don't walk like this. You look like you just had two in your pants. Oh dear. And in their final rehearsal before the real thing on stage, even choreographer Bruno gives it his all. Mm, 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 no. Mm, Oh dear. No, we're not doing all that. Definitely not. Oh, good morning. Oh, blue. Britain. It's the day of the pageants. Oh, the pageants hey, here, girls. Really the nervous. pageant. Don't want to do it. Oh, you're making it do it. By the end of today, Michelle will have chosen three girls to take with her to America. Right. Leaving three behind. Right. So, what's the tea? Okay, Tell girls. Me what's the tea? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm wearing a night How is everyone? Dying scared. inside. I'm scared too. Dying so we're in this together. 
This is just going to be a matter of pulling everything together that you've already I learned. Say, it's just going to be I a matter scary, of Poland. I know it's scary, you guys are going to do great. Right. Because you're ready. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go, girls. It's time here to Here we go, one more time. So they've rented out an auditorium for a pageant. Is it only going to be them in the pageant? Are you lost for me today? Oh, oh I can see all them eyes looking at me. <laughs> I got my dark glasses bad mood today, so you better be good. Anna Wintour hoops. Okay, Having never even been on stage before, it's important for the girls to rehearse the pageants. This is always your first stopping point. Piano. So while tonight's compare Beverly Turner Hello. runs through the show, Beverly Michelle girls. watches on with the other two judges, Bruno and former Miss Great Britain, Liz Fuller. Liz Fuller. Fuller what? So Fuller shite! <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, I must issue an apology. I do not know if Liz Fuller is full of shite. So. And it's great to see so many of you here to support the young ladies who are desperate to make it through God. to the final round. Desperate to make it to the pageant. Contestant number one is Ellen. Hello. Ellen likes But to not all the girls are ready for their moment in the spotlight. Oh, what does that mean? I don't want to go on stage, can I it? And I feel like a clown I'm about to juggle at a circus. Contestant number two is Laura. I don't think so. Oh no! Laura. Laura's escaping the pageant! Laura? Runaway Laura team there? from the pageant girls. She just disappeared. Me and my camisole are going to go and get her. Oh, this is very Trini and Susanna, Game Boy Advance SP. Why is she laughing? She's going to wear it this way. This is this one. Who are you, madam? Your fate could never. You wouldn't even be here without this show, without these girls on it. So who are you? She's going to wear it this way. This is this one. Why she started again, the dumb She's gone to lick the and she's a knob. Oh, dear. Outside, Michelle lends Funny how Laura fast they turn on each other. Here. Gotta get you back in the game, okay? You think you can? She's just really nervous, a bit stage fright. Do what? I don't know if you want it. You don't know if you want to? Stage fright. all the work you've done for the past four weeks, you don't know if you want to now? Stop pissing me off about just... So much of the nerves comes from, oh, I just want to do my best. They've been through a lot, and we're asking a lot. It's asking a lot when I was competing, and I'd been preparing for months, so I'm really sympathetic to Okay, to where so they she are is right self-aware. Look at her, she's just the perfect role model for this beauty queen thing, and I, defy, I think she deserves to just go all the way. She, she needs to go to America. She's a long break as well, with feet up on a beach, with the hottest um, bodyguard on the beach, giving her a massage. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> Going all the way. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's a little bit of camaraderie there. Wasn't that nice? Oh, we don't see that very often, do we now? That's nice. The Dance House Girls, next to Ladbrokes. Oh, the previous contestants. As family and friends pour in, oh. backstage, the transformation begins. Get your rollers, go. What is this music choice? <laughs> Thunderbirds. <laughs> I think she'll be really nervous, actually. I mean, we are Strangling as well. Her child. Yeah. We're going to stay quiet because uh, I think it'll put her off if she. So uh, friends and family are the audience here. For yeah, this yeah definitely going to be cheering loudly. She's got a nana upstairs. My goodness, I forget how like large an average person's family is because I do not have this many family members that would come and see me at a pageant. She's the loudest, and her aunt's <laughs> and she's got a granddad coming in a minute, and he's louder than anybody. And really nervous. So. What you're saying is we need to gag you all. <laughs> oh, very exciting. Oh, is it a cinema? Oh, no, it'll be an amph amphitheatre. Oh, I'm really scared. Oh. Uh, <laughs> shitting bricks. I'm shitting terrace houses, that's what I'm doing. I don't want to do that. Right move will have a word. The music is very light. And they all died. I know I shouldn't just want you to do that. Where the hell are we at? That's not Dido, is it? <laughs> Good evening, everybody. I'm delighted to be hosting tonight's competition here in Manchester. And I'm Hi, also a terrible girls. human being. You guys look amazing. Hey. Close your eyes for one minute, okay? Just close your eyes. And pass and I want you to repeat after me. I've got I that. believe 
in me. I believe in me. Cult. Good, because you know what? I this believe. Is, oh, I'm getting the swan. It's the swan no girl tonight. The dresses I'm proud are quite nice, actually. Did they pick oh, them? We didn't see any of the dress choices, did we? Did they pick them themselves? I guess not. We we had active wear, and that was it. Okay. See you later. See ya. See you later, alligator. See you in a while, Crocker. Leaving the girls to go it alone, Michelle rejoins the other two judges for this evening's pageant. Oh, dear. Okay, on with the show. On with my wig. He's gonna wrap him. He's happy. Shh, 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 shh. I need a wig. <laughs> The first category tonight is the evening gowns competition. Oh, right, everybody. This is Ready. the one, ladies. Good luck, everyone. Oh, uh, good balls. Contestant me. number one is Ellen. Hello, Ellen. Oh, uh, yes. Representing the 80s and also carpet right. Used to describe herself are funny, kind, and loyal. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Ellen. That's arguably the easiest part. Contestant number two is Eleanor. Ooh. Ooh. Seafood salad. Three words that Eleanor would use to describe herself are feisty, loud, and cheeky. Yes, I would agree. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Eleanor. Eleanor, yes. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm shaking. I can't do the stage start. I'm scared. Laura. Contestant number three is Laura. Laura. Laura, yes. Her hobbies are football, swimming, and shopping. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Laura. Oh. Actually, that dress is really flattering. Good luck. Very nice. A little Contestant bit Claire's accessories, but that's Perry. fine. Pageants are. Oh, oh, I like that dress. Yes. Oh, Bruno's like, no. Oh, did her hair quite nicely as well. Contestant number five is Rachel. Here she is. A nice black dress. Rachel Ooh. is 18 years old. Oh, dear. A trip, a trip, a trip to Thunder. Oh, Contestant Rachel. number six this evening is Ashley. Oh, she Oh. Her hobby. Oh, no. Is that a poodle in your hair, or are you frightened to see us? Her spirit is returned from beyond the grave. These include dancing, music, and socialising with friends. Oh, socialising, as opposed to what was the original? Chilling with mates. Socialising with friends. Is that a hobby? She seems the next part of the evening is the platform components of the competition. The platform or topic that the girls have chosen is an issue or a charity that's close to their heart. Disabled sport. Like, but the next portion is going to be about the ritual. The sacrifice. Get the community more involved as Oh, a very sensible cut crease. Take part in the platform is Ellen. Annoyingly, that song that goes beep is copywritten, so I'm gonna have struggle bus getting that out, girls. Hello, Eleanor. Hello, Ellen. How does music therapy benefit children with learning disabilities? Oh, yes, how does it? Music therapy benefits children with difficult, the diff difficulties because it's just like it's another way for them to learn music, just the way that must be possible. Eleanor, I feel like it's important to what? Tell me it! And through me and my charity, maybe they'll be able to get that learning just spot on, just the way that I did when I was growing up through school. Okay, lovely. Thank you, Ellen. Well done. <laughs> oh, difficult, but it's only a practice run, even though it's a full house. Well How done. Difficult, difficult, lemon, difficult. Scary. I got stuck on one word, difficulties, and I meant to say deficiencies, so I couldn't do it. Where do I walk? Contestant number two oh, is Eleanor. Come on, Eleanor. Now, Eleanor, as the outfit's a bit BBC News. Cause, why do you think it's important to raise awareness of meningitis? Ooh. I feel it is important to raise awareness for meningitis because it is. I'm sure I'll have to raise awareness. Also, when I went to. Why oh, don't I keep saying also? And how to deal with the treatment. Oh. 
Well done. Oh. I don't know. Stop mute. Oh dear. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Come on, Laura. Sell us this house. Real estate hoops. As an advocate for anger management for teens, I think it's important to raise an awareness. Sure, sure. You can do it. I think the main problem is like. Right, no, we ever just. Oh, oh, oh no, the pageant girl! Right. I think the main problem oh, dear. is people are not noticing all the problems and not noticing it in themselves and other people. You can do it. Don't cry, don't cry, don't let Miss Cell see you cry. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> Make way for the SOV! Oh dear. Contestant number four the house is, is not Kerry. Sold. It foreclosed. Kerry, how Ooh. could the community support organisations such as the Wood Street Mission? Come on. As an account, I can't say the word, sorry. Oh. Um, the community, I think, to help the Wood Street Mission teenagers today and everything, they need to know to how to help them. And basically, we need to put the word across and let them know how to help. Oh. Contestant thing. number five is Rachel. Poor thing, that's so... <laughs> Heart was in her throat, wasn't it? Poor thing. You've got nothing to cry about. Come on. Come on. Your makeup's going on. Well, as Miss Teen International, I would join a community service and I would join um, a project called Charisma. Um, I just saw my so that's what I would just do and support them with everything. Thank you, Rachel. Well done. She's got a lot of personality. Now, Ashley, um, tell us why sports for tell the disabled you have a help to bring people of all abilities together. Sports for the disabled help bring people of all abilities together because a sp disabled sports team allows a person of normal ability to join in and play. Also, when I visited YMCA, I was allowed to join in. It made me realise that I shouldn't take advantage of my ability. Thank you. Okay, all right. Okay, that was a really good performance, actually. I do think, I think Ashley might be going It's the final America. section of tonight's pageant, the choreographed dance. Oh dear. The girls will be judged both on their physique Didn't and their performance. Didn't they say this was the first number earlier? But this is the end of the show. Oh, I just the best. Now, the girls have spent all week working really hard on their dance routine, okay. helped on by leading choreographer and one of tonight's judges, Bruno Hello. Hello. So, I think you should just enjoy. Come on, girlies, do your little shimmy. Oh, happy ladies on the go. I've got an Ugg. She's on the go. What is this? Is this, is this cheer? Da, da. This might be copyright music. I hope you're enjoying my rendition of this bizarre section. Oh, they're going forward now. Back. Oh, she's on the game. Oh, back to the front again. Yes, hello. And we squat. Clap. Do a little shimmy. What is this? What are you? Da 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 la da 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 la da. Huh. Well, I mean, they were on the stage moving their bodies. That's what we saw. The girls have successfully completed their first ever pageant, but for which three will it prove to be their oh, last? Oh, I see. Yes, this is going to be the reveal. I believe in me. Okay. 
I think Ashley. Six British girls Ellen, have been fighting for the chance to enter the Miss Teen International pageant Laura? in Chicago, Illinois. Well, Laura swore, didn't she? Her co-judges will help her decide. Okay, right. This is the worst. Wait, no one's like realised about the elimination. I'm so scared because I don't want to hear my name about Rachel. I'm sorry, but you are going home. You are evicted. She didn't the sparkle. Big house. She didn't shine. She, she was nowhere near. Oh. In the same kind of confidence bracket as the, as the other girls. Oh Victim of nerves. I liked her as soon as she came out. She what was a little about? bit more natural with the hair. Um, she swore. That's that not her fault. She's not going to survive in natural America. She swears. When she gets it right, she is a joy to watch. There is something about her. She has a natural, sweet she quality. She does. She's still one of the top favorites. She's one of, yeah. right? one of the top favorites. With the judges' deliberations complete, right. the girls oh, return to the stage to out. find out who's going to America and who's staying behind. Right, who, 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 get on the stairs and think about what you're going to do next. Ooh. Welcome back, ladies of Manchester. Right. Well, girls, tonight you pulled all of the elements together that we've... Ellen, Ashley, Laura. ...been working on so hard for the last month, and I'm just so proud of you guys. Unfortunately, as you know, I can only take three of you back to America with me. Yes. Carrie. <gasps> I think you're amazing. I have so much respect for you. And you have a beautiful, wonderful heart. Unfortunately, I do not think you have what it takes to be a beauty queen, so I can't take you to Chicago. Oh, the audience is like, what? I don't think you should phrase it like that. I don't think you have what it takes to be a beauty queen. You should say something like, this isn't your time. Ashley. Bourgeois. You've absolutely come into your own. The way you become comfortable in your own skin. I hate what I've done with her hair. What is that? Is really impressive. And I do think you have what it takes. <laughs> one down, girl. I was correct about one. I knew that she was going to pick the blonde. I knew it. Subconscious bias. She gets a sachet and a, a tiara and some flowers. Rachel, Ooh. at times you've made me question whether or not you wanted Rachel to be in this could be competition the wild card. She or not. Pick her and be like, yeah. Or like, no. However, you were dynamic on stage, oh. and I believe that you oh. do have what it takes. Oh, wigs, 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 wigs. Maybe Ellen won't make it then. I think it's going to be Laura. I think it's going to be Laura. <laughs> Elena. <laughs> You're an amazing girl, and I so admire your confidence and your charisma. Unfortunately, oh. I don't think you have what it takes to be a beauty queen. Um, oh. That's the community center. Right. This has been a really difficult decision. Oh. Either of them. You both possess so much potential. Is it going to be Laura? And no matter which one of you I'm taking to Chicago, I want the other one to know how much I admire you and how I wish for you nothing but success and that you take that ownership of the earlier, person that really you are. As well and that you learn from this experience. Laura. I believe you have oh, what it takes. Laura, girl, I knew it. I was psychic lady on the game. I think Ellen will have a career in modeling, although this was, what, 16 years ago, so maybe not. I would probably have heard of her by now. Oh, oh, Ellen. Oh, Ellen. Oh. Well, 
I hope. Well, that's it. Everybody get out of my house. That you all will take something from this, even if you're not coming to Chicago. That you have all learned that you have power over your future and you choose the person that you are each day. Can we just have another round of applause for all? Okay, I mean, that's a nice little finishing statement. Nothing harmful, nothing I hurtful. I that I didn't get through, but there are my friends I weren't bothered which one of us got through. I'm proud for it. I'm not, I'm not going to go home and stop my bed crying. I'm s- it's only once in a lifetime, isn't it, that you get <laughs> to do something like this. This is something that every girl in Manchester probably don't with dreams of doing. At the end of the day, we've got this fan, we've got a lot out of it, and they'll stay with us for the rest of our lives. Yeah. It's brought out the better side in me, really. Oh, it's, it's brought kind out of a good sad. side rather than the bad. For Michelle, her job as right. mentor is about to enter Hello, baby. a whole new arena. There is still a really long road for the three girls that are moving on. We still have a great deal of work to do. I think they still have a bridge to get with embodying a beauty queen, really taking on the persona. And that's the bridge they need to cross in the next few weeks. Okay. I wonder what they're going to do next week then. Next week. Oh, no, 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 shush, shush. Sorry, Biscuit, I wasn't talking to you, baby. Well, my lovelies, again, we've seen another pageant. I didn't expect quite to see a pageant in this episode. I didn't expect to, Mr. Biscuits. You weren't around in the last pageant, were you? No. It was a few years ago now. You've never seen mummy get all excited over a pageant before, have you? No. So, my lovelies, I have a couple of thoughts about today's episode. It really did go to show that like stage fright is a really big thing to try and overcome. I think also being from a background that has had struggle, should we say, a little bit of hardship, makes state, like somehow amplifies stage fright. And I think that that is a case Again, that goes back to Michelle realizing that none of these girls have hobbies because they don't have the luxury of having a hobby because a lot of their mental capacity is dedicated to daily survival. Like we have to remember the name of this show as Botine or Tarot 18 to Beauty Queen means that these girls have had tough hardships happen and they've also committed tough hardships against others. And while we do not, absolutely do not accept bullying or being a problem in your community towards other people who are victims, you do also have to accept that there are wider scenarios that happen within a community or within a socioeconomic group, shall we say, that heavily influences these sorts of behaviors. I do not feel like a beauty pageant really arms any of these girls with any meaningful long-term tools and management skills within their life or really even changes that much. And I think the reason why I can say that is because there wasn't any more series of this produced. So I'm interested to see where the end of the series goes. There's only two episodes left, my lovely. So stay tuned for them. Let me know what you guys think about what we've seen in today's episode of Asbo Teen to Beauty Queen in the comments box below. And with that, my lovelies, it's time for the Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here. Yes, you can. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Not The Shirt. Thank you so much for following me over on Instagram, you stunning woman on the go. If you want to be in with the chance of being featured in my next video's Instagram shout out, make sure you follow me over on Instagram. It is xxluxaria. The QR code is on the screen and over there I post my travel and fashion content and lots more of you, Mr. Biscuits. Yay. Once again, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Orkos Samoji, Ari Adia X, Becky Johnson, Beebles32, Cameron Pittman, Shell Herman, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Emily Worsham, Eric Castillo, Finch Dunham, Jen Martin, Caitlin Wright, Larissa Says Relax, Leanne Jones, Lenore, Les Banana, Mariah Sherman, Miss Kiss, Novembrix, Paola Rivera, Rye Loves Rory, Stefutex, Steve, Taylor Martin, and Vicky Walsh. And you know what, my lovelies? I think I'm gonna leave it on the note of beauty means something different to everyone. And I think a lot of the time it's good to remember that beauty isn't necessarily everything. And with that, my loves, I'll see you in the next one. <gasps> Stinky biscuits. <laughs>